Hey guys, Matt Sardo here, Monkeys Fighting Robots, and uh, Titans number one drops today from DC Comics. And it is good. It is good. I, uh, oh man, I have, I gotta, I gotta rub these fingers together because I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, Tom Taylor's the writer, Nicola Scott is the artist, uh, Annette Walk is colors, Wes Abbott is letters. Okay, I'm I'm looking at this book and um the art has like that CW beautifulness to it. Like everybody just looks beautiful. Uh the first thing. And then the colors really pop, like really pop. And it gives off almost like 80s, late 70s, early 80s Justice League cartoon vibes. Like with the setup with, not the setup, but with the uh, with the colors and the pop and the brightness of the book, I was like, "Oh man, this kind of feels like Justice League uh, that I remember growing up as a kid." And then there is a a giant. Oh yeah, I got to stop. There's, there's going to be spoilers. There's going to be spoilers because I got to talk about the book and everything. So um, if you haven't read Titans number one yet. Uh, pause and then come back when you read it and then rejoin me and then we can chat some more about Titans uh, when when you come back. Okay, so spoiler alert, pause, whatever you got to do. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to talk. So uh, the first real big fight is, um, you know, a giant gorilla and, and Beast Boy turns into a kaiju. So you have a giant kaiju fight and then there's like a nuclear... Uh, power plant and there's like problems and like all of that felt like a justice league episode and i was like oh this this is fun this is fun um but then i would say like there's a modern twist to it it doesn't feel dated because i'm looking at my list of everything here uh because the team dynamic the conversations that tom has with the team or creates with the team and, and everything that flows with the team uh feels like a modern story uh, and then, like, you have a suicide peacemaker shows up, and then you're like, all I see is the show and the goofiness, and I can just imagine that, like, live-action conversation between, like, Nightwing and Peacemaker. And, and so I was automatically cracking up because of what I've seen in the show and then translated into this thing. Uh, so there's, like, a Suicide, suicide Squad tension. Um, there could be, like, an Aquaman kind of thing or whoever's hanging out in the water causing a ruckus like could pop up later uh and then there's a huge like murder mystery that I'm I'm not going to spoil for you guys uh with it um uh, but there was it the book is fun it's inspiring and I, and I just enjoyed it I enjoyed all of the superhero vibes that I was getting from it Tom Taylor's been on this mission of inspiration in like bringing the Titans to the forefront, which I don't think they ever really left. I mean, that court, I feel like there's been a teen Titans cartoon going on um, for more than half my lifetime and everybody knows it. And I was almost looking for my toys because I wanted to say booyah. I mean, like that's all I have to say. Cyborg. I, say, I say booyah and I feel good about myself. Um, but I, I really enjoyed this book and I'm really interested to see um, where the initial story goes the murder mystery, because that's very compelling and very gut wrenching, like off the bat. Uh, and then I'm interested to see how Suicide Squad and the Titans, like when that battle happens, I think that's going to be like well written and fun. And and then the thing that is going to like really resonate with me is how Dick Grayson Nightwing handles the weight of the world and being the leader of the Titans and how it's written with a modern day flair. And we we understand all the stress and the, the mental health issues and, and everything else that goes with um, today, you know, like there's, there's a, there's the mental health aspect of it, of how we take care of ourselves how we handle um, our day-to-day -day stress. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Tom interprets that on a grand scale with like Nightwing and, and 
will Nightwing be that inspiration or just be that like reflection of humanity just trying to survive? Uh, that'll be fun. And I'm trying to think of what uh, my favorite, my favorite part of the book is, is the Kaiju fight. Like I was like, trying to think uh, because there's a, because uh, I think my favorite word uh, for a sound effect right now is Krakum, like K R A K O O M. And like it's usually like something, it's a bigger than a boom is a Krakum. And I, I that cracks me up. And it may, every time I see that in a book, it brings me joy because I know that like it's bigger than a boom. What's bigger than a boom? It's like, it's kind of like turning your amp up to 11. Like 10 is boom, and then 11 is crackoom, and like it, it just cracks me up. Um, if you picked up Titans, uh, let me know what you thought of the book. Uh, comment below, like this video. Uh, the last uh, review we did did really well with Amazing Spider-Man. Lots of comments, lots of dialogue. Uh, I'd like to see that keep going, but I'm going to try to keep doing more of these, popping in. I really like first issues and talking about them because I think that Titans really did hook me on like several different levels. Like, and, and then the team dynamic is, is just, I, everybody was there and the conversations and, and the, just the, not, I want to say one liners, but just the elements of conversation. You're like, Oh, this is that person. That's about boom, 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 boom. And like, it worked really well. So you got the team dynamic. I'm really excited for the suicide squad, like fight, there's that hidden mystery with like the oceans and who is who is going to come out of the oceans and fight the Titans later on or, or who are the Titans going to join forces with or however that dynamic tension works. Uh, and then like the overall first story arc is is very compelling right off of the bat. Uh, I was like, do I have my Nightwing shirt on? And I was like, no, I don't. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of the book in the comments below. And thanks for watching. And I'm Matt Sardo, Monkey Spider Robots.